You're about to voyage to experience the universe in a whole new way. The way that people have experienced the reality without the time dimension. Stay tuned. In the presence of defamation, formation appears. With the formation, the defamation appears. This is one truth in nature. This behavior suggests us to believe in the existence of life cycles though it doesn't visible in reality. However, as humans we agree to believe set of theories in non-realistic academic world to understand things happen around in nature when realistic conditions make contact with each other. Let's keep that in mind and move forward with this cyber voyage. To understand things, let's group one formation cycle and deformation cycle into one unit and call it a Great Eon or Mahakalpa. This Great Eon is not limited to one galaxy but for the cluster of one trillion galaxies. This clustering helps maintaining the balance between relative forces during the changes of the cluster. Mahakalpa or the Great Eon is divided into four equal eons called Asankhya Kalpa. Asankhya means multitudinous. Here multitudinous means fluctuates with many other causes, therefore, the duration of an Asankhya Kalpa can be vary according to many other facts in each great eon. As per the nature of each Asankhya Kalpa, they are named as Eon of Evolution or Vivata Kalpa, Eon of Evolution Duration or Vivata Sti Kalpa, Eon of Dissolution or Sanvata Kalpa, Eon of Dissolution Duration or Sanvata Sti Kalpa. However, it is advisable to not to focus on these names. Each Asankhya Kalpa is again divided into 20 units called Antar Kalpa. During the initialization cycles or the first quarter of the Great Eon called the Eon of Evolution, which happens after every duration of dissolution, all one trillion galaxies related to our Milky Way are being formed. This process takes approximately 33 billion 596 million years. This is the galactic cluster which we currently live. However, different galactic clusters might be in a different cycles in the universe during this time. During the set of cycles in the second quarter of the Great Eon or the Eon of Evolution Duration, life can be found in all one trillion galaxies including humans though they may look different in shape, size, and behavior from us now. This lasts approximately for another 33 billion 596 million years. If we consider the current period of life, our planet Earth is now 4.8 billion years old and we are precisely in the fourth sub-cycle or the fourth Antar Kalpa of second Asankhya Kalpa in the current Mahakalpa. During the set of cycles in the third quarter of the Great Eon or the Eon of Dissolution, the material parts of all one trillion galaxies in our cluster are being dissolved from fire, water or air approximately for another 33 billion 596 million years. This will be discussed in a separate video in the future as the content is overwhelming this video. Fourth, or the last quarter of the Great Eon, or the Eon of Dissolution Duration, the matter and the fine matter parts of the cluster, is not visible in all one trillion galaxies for another 33 billion 596 million years. Therefore, the lifespan of the cluster, which we live, is approximately 134 billion 384 million years. This means the three quarters of a Mahakalpa is immaterial. In other words, spiritual rather than physical. We are now seeing the fourth Antarkalpa of an Asankhya Kalpa. This is the Eon of Evolution Duration. Now the galactic cluster is 6,719,200,000 years old and still the life is young here. There are 26,876,800,000 more years to come until the whole cluster dissolves with fire. There are 20 subians called Antarkalpas for a Nian. Duration of a subian is approximately 1,679,800,000 years. A subian is further divided into two periods of time, one is called Uth Sarpini while the other is called Auva Sarpini. 
Each of these main yugas are further divided into four periods, therefore, we have eight yugas in total for an Antarkalpa. However, the lifespan of each yuga highly depends on the behavior of the dominating creatures lived during each period, so it differs in each life cycle, due to this reason it's called Asankhya Kalpa. In order to understand how the events pass in a passage of time during an eon, let's consider the current period or the fourth Antarkalpa of the eon of evolution duration. As mentioned previously this is how the Antarkalpa is divided into eight yugas. It starts with Kali Yuga, and ends with Kali Yuga. The peak periods in the middle of both cycles are Satya Yuga. If watch closely the duration of each one is a multiplication of Kali Yuga. For an instance Thritha Yuga is three times bigger than Kali Yuga. From Kali Yuga to Satya Yuga, the body height, skin color, body type, lifespan, etc. are getting improved gradually. This improving cycles are called Youth Sarpini, whereas the other deteriorating half, which runs from Satya Yuga back to Kali Yuga are called Avasarpini, as the quality of life, food, body height, skin color, humanity etc. suffer as they heading to a mass extinction. For an instance, the body height can be increased up to 8,400 feet while the life expectancy increases during the improving cycles, but on the other hand, the body height can shrink down to one foot and the life expectancy can reduce to 10 years during Avasarpini Yugas. As it's easy to understand things according to the current understandings of Buddhist cosmology, where the traces can only be found regarding the historical patterns of the cycles, let's see how things are explained from the Theravada Buddhist's point of view. As we live in the Eighth Yuga, the final stage, or the Kali Yuga of the Fourth Antarkalpa, let's have a closer look at this period. According to the written records in Theravada Buddhism, we are now living in the last period of this Antarkalpa. For one Antarkalpa, only one Buddha can be found. Before 2600 years approximately there was Gotama Buddha, and the life expectancy of humans in that period was 120 years, and now it became 72. However, this Kali Yuga will continue until the life expectancy reduced to 10 years, after that a majority of the living beings will come to an extinct due to a great war. Then after another Kali Yuga starts and the time will shift to the next or the fifth Antarkalpa. During fifth Antarkalpa again the lifespan of humans will increase as they feel miserable after seeing a great war, and the distractions they have made to the nature. With the formation of the Great Galactic Cluster, the formation of planet Earth was completed. As per the ancient records, when life expectancy of humans became 40,000 years in the latter parts of the first Antarkalpa, Kakusanda the first Buddha of this great eon was born. During the second Antarkalpa, Konagama, the second Buddha of this Mahakalpa was born. During third Antarkalpa, Kasapa, the third Buddha was born. And in the fourth Antarkalpa, Gautama, the fourth and present Buddha of this Mahakalpa was born. In the latter parts of next Antarkalpa, Maitreya, the fifth and the last Buddha of this Mahakalpa will born. After that, there will be no Samar Sam Buddha, for the next fifteen Antarkalpas, but there might be Paksheka Buddhas during this period. However, life continues in the earth and humans may exist as usual and go through various cycles, until earth will be burnt out, along with the great galactic cluster at the end of this Asankhyakalpa, or the evolution duration period. For the sake of clarity, let's look at the current Mahakalpa as a whole in another angle. Figuring out the exact number of the starting point of an eon is same as figuring out the starting point of a circle, but we will consider this as zero for now. As humans the exact value of this point cannot even be predicted as it counts relatively to another known point. In the first 33.5 billion years called Vivata Kalpa, the great cluster of galaxies are formed. Once this is completed, existence of humans can be found for the next 33.5 billion years. After completing this eon, 
or the Vivata Sti Kalpa, the whole cluster of 1 trillion galaxies are dissolved from fire for another 33.5 billion years, once this is done, there are no matter parts left of this cluster for another 33.5 billion years. Let's voyage through time to see how Buddhas were born during a fraction of time in the infinite universe. This is the great eon that we currently live. Thirty-one great eons ago this is how it was. In 91 to 94 great eons ago this is how it was. One thousand eight hundred great eons ago. Thirty thousand great eons ago. One hundred thousand great eons ago. One hundred thousand of Asankhyas ago. Meaning, one hundred thousand times greater than ten to the power of one hundred and forty great eons. One hundred thousand of another two Asankhya great eons ago. One hundred thousand of another three Asankhya great eons ago. One hundred thousand of another four Asankhya great eons ago. A comprehensive guide about past Buddhas will be discussed in a separate video for your knowledge, however, let's have a quick view at those ages one by one. One hundred thousand of four Asankhya great eons before there were four Buddhas, so it's called Saramanda Kalpa. 100,000 of three Asankhya great eons before, there was only one Buddha. So it's called Sarakalpa. In other words, from 100,000 of two Asankhya great eon, to 100,000 of four Asankhya great eon, there was only one Buddha. 100,000 of two Asankhya number of great eons before, there were again four Buddhas, so it's called a Saramandakalpa. 100,000 of one Asankhya number of great eons before, there were three Buddhas, so it's called Warakalpa. From 100,000 great eon to this point there were no Buddhas born. 100,000 great eons before, in the first Antrakalpa, one Buddha was born and for the rest of 19 Antarkalpas there were no Buddhas. So it's again called Sarakalpa. 30,000 great eons ago, there were two Buddhas, so it's called Mandakalpa. 1,800 great eons before, there were three Buddhas. So it's again called Warekalpa. 94 great eons before, there was a Buddha. So it's called Sarakalpa. 92 great eons before, there were two Buddhas. So it's called Mandakalpa. And 91 great eons before, there was a Buddha. So it's again called Sarakalpa. 31 great eons before, in other words 4,165,904,000,000 years ago, there were two Buddhas. So it's called Mandakalpa. Now we are seeing the current great eon, and here we can find five Buddhas, at the first time after numerous Mahakalpas. So it's called Bodhra Kalpa. 
To get sort of an understanding regarding the nature of human life, let's look at the journey of Buddhahood of Gavatama Sama Sambuddha. 100,000 units of 21 Asankhya great eons before, an ordinary human who lived up to that point just like you and me, has started a journey of Buddhahood. So he became a Bodhisattva. Thereafter, for 100,000 of another nine units of Asankhya great eons, the Gotama Bodhisattva, who met 387,000 Buddhas only during this period, was wishing for the Buddhahood. In next seven units of another Asankhya great eons, he who met 125,000 Buddhas during this period, was completing the word paramitas. During next four units of another Asankhya great eons, the Bodhisattva, who met 27 Buddhas during this period, has completed all 10 paramitas. Paramita means perfection, in other words culmination of certain virtues that a Bodhisattva must fulfill to become a Buddha. During the voyage of Gotama Bodhisattva, he met 512,027 Buddhas in total, only after he had a thought in mind to become a Buddha. Let's see this in another angle to understand how the life cycles of a human being can behave with the virtue of each life by comparing the voyage of Gotama Sama Sambuddha with Maitreya Sama Sambuddha. When Gavatama Bodhisattva had an initial thought to become a Buddha, the Maitreya Bodhisattva had already completed three quarters of his journey to become a Buddha, however, yet another Antakalpa to pass for him to become a Buddha, while the latest Bodhisattva had accomplished his journey within the one quarter of time from the Maitreya Bodhisattva. This is completely due to the differences between them and this is how things happen with cause and its reaction. According to the records, this is how things ought to happen in the future. Until you realize the truth. You are hoodwinked by your own causes and the mind in the swamps of vicious cycles called thoughts and perceptions. These great humans will end their journey along with many others, but you. The truth is out there. <laughs>